Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for banning my neighbor's kids from my yard until they fix the damage. My dad bought our house back in the 80s and kept it while developments sprung up all around it. I inherited it three years ago, and it's a cozy little two-bedroom, two-bath house sitting on a huge two-acre lot, compared to my neighbor's half-acre plots. The space? It's massive. Most of it is a big, empty field, except for a small garden I use in the backyard. I've always loved kids, so I've been cool with letting the neighborhood kids run around and play on my property, under the condition that they respect it. And to be fair, most of the kids do. They know it's not their backyard and treat it right. But of course, there's always that one family. The neighbors to my right? They've got five kids, ages one, three, two, five-year-olds, and a seven-year-old, and let's just say supervision is not their strong suit. Usually, the seven-year-old is left in charge, as much as a seven-year-old can be. And while they don't come over to my yard too often unless there's a big soccer or baseball game going on, the chaos starts whenever they do. So, five days ago, I come home from work and surprise. I find two of the five-year-olds had taken a sharpie to the side of my house. Their names, big and bold, were written on the wall along with some charming drawings, were talking a man pooping, piles of poop, real artistic stuff. I wasn't thrilled but figured it was manageable. Sharpie's a pain, but not the end of the world. So, the next day I head over to their parents, explain the situation, and ask them to cover the cost of the paint. Should have been a simple ask, right? It's like 20 bucks. But nah, they were offended, said I was lying, and that their precious kids would never do such a thing. Honestly, at this point, I was still ready to let it go. It's Sharpie. But then, later that day, one of their five-year-old boys thought it'd be funny to throw rocks at my house. Oraxa. Not tiny pebbles, full-on rocks that left dents in the siding and broke two windows. I got quotes to fix it, and it's going to run me $800 and minus $900 and... When I went back to talk to the parents, they doubled down, accusing me of damaging my own house just to make their kids look bad. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. So, I put my foot down. I told them their kids aren't allowed to play in my yard anymore until they cover the damage. I mean, that seems fair, right? But the next morning, the kids come by like nothing happened, ready to play soccer with the other neighborhood kids. I had to politely explain the situation and tell them they couldn't stay. The seven-year-old was super sad, which honestly broke my heart a bit, but the five-year-old's furious. An hour later, their mom shows up at my doorstep, yelling that I'm a horrible person who hates children, and throwing in that I must be bitter because I can't find a husband. Real mature, right? A few other parents came by later, seeming a bit frustrated with my decision to ban just this one family, which made me second-guess if I was being too harsh. But seriously, their kids damaged my house, and the parents refused to pay for it. What else was I supposed to do? The yard is only off-limits to that family. The rest of the 20-something kids in the neighborhood are still welcome. I'm not punishing everyone for their actions. I've got a meeting scheduled with my lawyer to talk about getting a liability waiver for the parents to sign. Just covering my bases here, better safe than sorry. Honestly, it's not even about the money. I could cover the costs of the damage without a second thought. I inherited this house and a small restaurant chain from my dad so I'm more than comfortable financially. I could even buy up their house and the two next to it if I wanted. But that's not the point. It's about respect. If I don't stand my ground now, I'm setting myself up to be a doormat. In fact, I'm even considering turning part of the yard into a proper playground. The kids have been begging for a play structure for years, and if I can sort out the liability, why not? At least that way, the neighborhood has a safe place to play, and maybe this whole mess will teach those kids and their parents a lesson. And as for the seven-year-old, I'm honestly thinking about letting him come back earlier than spring. He was the least trouble of the bunch, and I feel for the kid. But the rest of them? They've worn out their welcome for a while. Community response. Grim draw. And A. Have you considered putting up a security camera? It may be helpful if you have any further issues. OP. I think I will. I have one for my front door, but I think I'll add some on the side closer to their house in the backyard. Participant 1. If you go to adding more cameras, consider more coverage than just those sides. Just because those areas are closer to the neighbor doesn't mean that's where the next incident will happen. Or that it will come from one of the kids in that family. There are other kids around. They play with the other kids. Some of those kids are probably unhappy about the ban too. You know at least some of their parents are unhappy about the ban. Who's to say that the next incident won't come from one of the other kids trying to support their friend? If it comes from a kid and not one of the adults. 
I'm not trying to be pessimistic here. Just thinking about how this could escalate so you can make smart moves like more camera coverage as effective as possible. OP. I don't know how I didn't think of that. My dad's trail cams are literally sitting in my garage right now. I'll put them up later tonight. Nana Liani. And Jay. Let those destructive little kids play in the yards of the of the families who are frustrated your yard is now off limits. Put up cameras and when you catch property destructing in progress, call the cops and then sue the parents. Even five-year-olds should know better than to do what those kids did. Poor kids, what inadequate parents they have. OP. To clarify the yard is only of limits to that specific family, the other 20-something kids on my street are still welcome. This isn't the first issue I've had with them either, they thought it was appropriate to let the one-year-old play in my yard with only the seven-year-old as supervision which I was not going to let happen. So I'm not very confident in their parenting abilities either. Participant 2 The problem you have is if a child gets hurt on your property, you could be held liable. This might have been low risk until things escalated. OP I might talk to my lawyer and see about getting the parents to sign some sort of liability waiver, but as it stands it's been fine like this for three years and I'm willing to risk it. Participant 3 And hey, but you need to be very careful. As someone else suggested, you need cameras desperately. There is no telling what can and will go on at any time while kids are playing on your property. If someone gets hurt, you get sued. Have the kids work off the damage by doing yard work, or have them clean and paint it themselves. With supervision but cameras, please. OP. It would be easier if the paint was the only issue, but after the rocks the kids definitely wouldn't be able to help with the repairs. I have to have the glass replaced on two windows, and if I want it back to its former glory, I'll have to replace some of the siding. I'm definitely going to put something up in the backyard, and maybe a camera on the side of the house closest to theirs. Participant 3. Understood, and it's not so much them doing the actual work to fix it, but the action of doing any work to replace the cost. Set boundaries like, you do this work, and you can come back for X hours or days. Sounds like they need the structure for sure, but anything you do with them or their parents, make sure it's recorded. Is your property properly marked? If not, do so. OP. I have a row of bushes that go along the property line since I don't like the look of fences, and depending on how things go I might see about them doing some work in my garden come spring. Participant 4. But they are so young. This is the parents' fault. They should do your yard work, not their tiny children. You are too kind, and it will bite you. I'd stop all the kids playing for three months and tell everyone why. Classic school teacher move. Then waivers for all to sign. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.